Welcome and thank you for investing your time with me to learn more about our Bite Size Azure series. My name is Jason Lambert. I'm Cloud Technical Consultant for Microsoft Azure at Ingram Micro. And today I'm looking to uh, uncover the question about Azure and Open versus Azure and CSP or Cloud Service Provider and the purchasing channels that you have uh, at your uh, disposal. How do you choose between each channel? If you look at the, each channel, both of them are now supported by the service provider licensing agreement. That is the ability, if you are if you have a data center or you're hosting out services for your customers, to rent Microsoft licensing uh, in a month to month model. So if you wanna learn more about Spli, you can reach out to the contact information uh, just below this video. Um, and we can certainly tell you more. This presentation is not about Spla, uh, but about Open and CSP. Open is a little bit, uh, it's been around for a while, so it's a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit more complicated. And so how it works is we use the estimator. So if you uh, search for the Azure estimator in your favorite browser, uh, it's about the third or fourth link. You'll find uh, you'll find the estimator. You can build out your estimation for your customer. Traditionally, we at Ingram Micro would encourage you to either bill out uh, or consume through a quarter or semi-annually. And so what this allows you to do, so let's say in a quarter, your customer were to use $5,000 worth of Microsoft Azure. You would create a PO for 50 $100 credits at Ingram Micro. Ingram Micro would then purchase those credits from Microsoft, and those credits would wind up in the Volume License Service Center, and they would have a shelf life of five years. Once you took that key worth the total value of the purchase order, or $5,000, and entered it into the Azure engine, uh, you would have one year to consume against that key of $5,000. So hence the reason why we encourage you to either do semi-annually or quarterly. So if you do quarterly, you start provisioning those services, and as you provision them, the, the uh, counter of dollars would continue to diminish down to zero. And hopefully, so within 90 days, you'll have used all those 5,000 credits. If not, uh, you have another month that you can consume against it as long as you use them within a year. Then I would say around the 10 week period, you decide, do I need to purchase more credits or less credits, depending on how we provisioned out uh, your customer's infrastructure and how your customer's consuming against it. <clears throat> and you have the option to either pay for those, obviously you need to pay for those credits up front. So the option is for you to bill your customer up front when those credits or when that purchase order is placed, or you could uh, purchase the credits and then bill your customer in say 30 days as you traditionally would, which can be a little bit challenging for our partners to, to manage. Hence, Microsoft launched our CSP program that's cloud service provider. And so that this new model is the ability for you to pay as you go. So basically you log into Ingram Micro Cloud, you provision up the tenant, and there's another module or video that'll teach you how to do that. Um, and then once that tenant's created, you would log in and you start provisioning services. At the end of 30 days, you would then receive uh, an invoice. So Microsoft will bill Ingram Micro, Ingram Micro will bill you, and you'll bill your customer. So at the end of 30 days, you would then, uh, again, bill your customer, and then the 30-day cycle would continue. So in a nutshell, that's the, the difference between our open model and our CSP model. If you want to learn more, you can reach out to our cloud sales team. Information will be presented to you uh, just down in the notes of this presentation. Thanks so much for your time, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again in another training session.